In the animal world, there are plenty of behaviours that may seem a bit strange or a bit confusing. Most animals with strange behaviours have these behaviours as it helps them to survive, as certain behaviours help animals avoid predators, and other behaviours give them an edge over their competition. One behaviour that's seen in wild animals that humans can also relate to is parental care. Of course, most humans are very good at looking after their young, and we put a lot of our time and effort into raising children. Some animals share this behaviour and look after and care for their young, whereas others show no parental care whatsoever. There are various pros and cons that come with parental care, as parental care usually ensures that your young make it to maturity, but this comes with the cost of valuable time and energy. Although most animals that have some form of parental care will fiercely defend their young, some individuals will do completely the opposite and will even choose to feed on their own young and the young of other members of their species. This behaviour may seem quite violent and brutal, but it's more common than you might think. The scientific term for this behaviour is filial cannibalism, and there are often many complicated reasons why animals do this. In this video, I will be touching on just a few of these reasons, as I will be going through three animals that feed on their own young. And for our first species, we will be heading over to Africa, as we will be taking a look at the chimpanzee. These primates are mostly found in the savannas and forests of tropical Africa, and they really are quite misunderstood creatures. They're often portrayed in media as quite cute or endearing, but chimps can be quite violent creatures. There are multiple horror stories of pet chimps that have turned on their owners, and even Michael Jackson's chimpanzee bit Rashida Jones. These powerful, unpredictable creatures should never be kept as pets, and a lot of people have learnt this the hard way. In the wild, these great apes can be found across 21 African countries, but their numbers are not as healthy as they used to be. The chimpanzee is currently listed as endangered, as they're facing threats in the form of habitat loss and poaching. It's a well-known fact that the chimpanzee is one of our closest relatives, and just like humans, chimpanzees are very intelligent. In the wild, they commonly use tools, and they are even able to learn and use human sign language. Although chimpanzees are mostly known for being plant eaters, they do feed on a wide range of foods. This can include fruits, nuts, seeds and insects, but they are also known to feed on small mammals, including monkeys. Chimpanzee hunts are known for being quite brutal, as the small monkeys are often torn apart. Unfortunately, chimpanzees don't only target smaller primates, as they're also known to wage war against each other. In 1974 in Tanzania, two separate groups of chimpanzees waged war for four years. These chimps were fighting over territory and resources, and they would often deliberately kill one another. During these fights, they would often target the sensitive areas, such as the face, hands and genitals. When pet chimps turn against their owners, they exhibit the same behaviour, as most chimp attack victims have injuries to the face and hands. For the most part, it's understandable why one group of chimpanzees would want to attack another group of chimpanzees, but it's harder to understand why one chimpanzee would attack other members in its group. This behaviour has been witnessed quite a few times in the wild, and it's usually the infants that suffer. Very few people have managed to witness a chimpanzee giving birth in the wild, but on one of these occasions, something very strange happened. Within seconds of the birth, the baby was snatched from its mother, and it was eaten by a male of the same group. Strangely, this behaviour has been witnessed quite a few times, and even female chimpanzees are known to eat their own stillborns, and will even snatch the young of other mothers. This is why most female chimpanzees will take a maternity leave, and will often go into hiding for weeks or even months when they have their babies. This ensures that they won't be snatched by other chimpanzees, and means that they can safely raise them on their own. When the young chimpanzee is old enough, they will eventually return to their group, and this sort of behaviour just goes to show how brutal chimpanzees can be. But for our next group of animals, we will be heading underwater, as we will be taking a look at the blennies. Now, blenny is the common name for many types of fish that span across multiple families. Some of these blennies are found in salt water, and some are found in fresh water. Most blenny species are not found in the water column, and instead are mostly found in the sediment or in and around rocky areas. Their bodies are perfectly shaped for hiding in crevices, and some small blenny species are even venomous. As there are around 900 species of blenny, their diets vary greatly from species to species. Some are known to be mostly algae eaters, and others will feed on crustaceans and small fish. This is a pretty standard diet for a fish of their size, but strangely they will also eat their own young. 
When some blenny species reproduce, the parenting responsibilities are shared between the male and the female. The females will often lay a large number of eggs, and then the male will protect them alone until they hatch. This can be a very draining and boring activity, which is one of the reasons why some male blennies will choose to eat their young. If the number of eggs that the blenny is guarding isn't large enough, sometimes the male blenny will eat the eggs and then leave to mate again. It's a way for the male blenny to ensure that it's only looking after a large number of eggs and therefore its time and energy are used effectively. This sort of behaviour might seem out of place in the mammal world, but really it is quite common with fish. Sharks are often known to eat their own young, and so do many live bearers. It's relatively rare for a fish to even look after their own young, so at least the blennies are doing one thing right. But for our final species we will be heading back over to Africa, as we have the African leopard. Now really for this last entry I could have picked from a few different big cat species. That's because feeding on the young of your own species is quite common with big cats. And weirdly the African leopard will even feed on adults of its own species. The African leopard is known for being one of the most elusive big cats in the world. And for the most part it is an ambush predator. Their coat helps them blend in with their environment. And their size and power helps them take down pretty large prey. As the majority of the landscapes across Africa can be quite competitive, African leopards have come up with a pretty impressive way of keeping their prey to themselves. It's not rare for a leopard to haul its prey into a tree, and sometimes they will leave it there for weeks. This behaviour keeps their kills away from some predators, but you'll be surprised at how good lions are at climbing trees. The leopard's diet completely depends on where they're found, as in some regions of southern Africa 80% of their diet comprises of rock hyrax, whereas in certain areas such as the Kalahari Desert are known to favour bat-eared foxes. As well as this they will also target quite difficult species, such as baboons and porcupines. This just goes to show how impressive the African leopard is, and very few predators rival their hunting ability. Although a fully grown leopard is easily capable of taking down a human, African leopard attacks on humans are relatively rare. Of course they do still happen every now and again, but the majority of leopard attacks happen in India. Despite this, there is a lot of African leopard and human conflict, but this is usually due down to leopards hunting livestock, and then the farmers killing the leopards. Unlike some of the other big cats in Africa, African leopards are known for being mostly solitary and nocturnal. They only really come together to mate, but some meetings between African leopards can turn very violent very quickly. If a male African leopard were to enter a new territory with females, the first thing on its mind would be to mate with these females. If these females already have cubs that were fathered by other males, sometimes the new male will choose to kill these cubs, and this ensures that only his genes are carried on. Of course this behaviour is not unique to African leopards, as it's more frequently seen with lions and other big cat species. Once again this is just another reminder that nature is a lot more brutal than most people think, but at least there is some reasoning behind the brutality. Of course there are quite a few other animals that could have made it on this list, so if you know of any let me know down in the comments below. But thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. If you liked it, please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these. But until next time, goodbye.